Hey guys, how are you? Jeff Disson here at the SEMA Show. I got Brian Fuller from Fuller Motor. You know this guy from the Thundertaker. I mean, Shogun, all this sort of stuff. What we're standing here in front of in the OPGI booth, it's a 1970 Chevelle. We walked by it. It's gold and black. This thing is... How did you walk by it? Well, I stopped in my tracks. That's why we're here. Don't keep going. Tell me about this thing. So uh, Jared Cook is a NFL player. He's a, a New Orleans Saint. And he wanted kind of a, a black, nasty, uh, you know, old school he could drive around. He wanted flat and gloss. He wanted the racing stripes. So, you know, we just finished it. it took us nine months and uh, really feel like it turned out just kick ass. And I can't wait for him to see it. That kind of explains the color scheme with the yeah. Saints. But uh, yeah. what would you do to make this car special for him? Well, I feel like, you know, some of the things that we do that a lot of folks can't is uh, sheet metal was my training. So if you look under the hood. Uh, you'll see all the custom aluminum shrouding that, that's underneath. It's all supposed to almost kind of look like the leather that's inside. So it's uh, kind of leathery, semi-fly black. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that you put leather under your engine compartment. They used to do it back in the show car days. Um, but it's got an LS, uh, LS2, and it's probably pushing about 450 horse. You know, nothing crazy. It's a good driver. Very mild. What's the transmission? Uh, 4L80E. Um, but it's got, uh, you know, it's got vintage air, it's got AC, it's got uh, Hotchkiss suspension, wheelwood brakes. So obviously, you know, it's a car that you can get in, drive it every day. You could drive it down the street or you could drive it across country. And I think you really could use this car every day. I love it. How, tell me about the relationship with you and OPGI. So thank, uh, thank goodness OPG used us um, and wanted us to come in here because we literally needed so many parts for this car. I mean, it was a shell. I mean, when I tell you it was a shell, there was no dash. So luckily being a, a popular car and a car that OPG supports, we were able to get the full console, the dash, the headliner, the carpet, I mean, sill plates, even down to like, you know, the, the passenger fender was junk. It was easier to buy one from them than repair the crap that was left from the factory. And uh, all the trim was gone. We got all the trim from them even down to little stuff in the head, in the grill area. Like the grill, when we got it, the previous builders had mounted it upside down, screwed it in from the top. The uh, hood hinges were from the wrong car. So instead of doing it, so the we couldn't figure it out. We're like, why do the hinges not line up in the holes where the bungs are? So I kind of find out they just put them on there, drilled holes through the sheet metal and pop basically big things in the hood. So, I mean, luckily, you know, uh, all the parts that we got, they, they were finished really nice. They all fit really well. I know we didn't, really didn't have any issue with anything, any parts fitting. And, uh, and our relationship goes a long way back. So the first overhaul and the pilot of overhauling was a 70 Chevelle. And so it was pretty cool that they sponsored us where I met these guys years and years ago. And then it kind of came full circle. Of my, this is the first car that we built out of our new shop in Atlanta. So yeah, it's been fun. This is a cool project. So tell me about the interior. Um, so uh, Phil Cato from uh, Cato's Upholstery, he was also a Texan, I'm a Texan, and uh, he used to work on Iron Resurrection with Joe Martin, so he's moved in with us at our new shop. So we have upholstery in-house. This car, uh, we took about nine months to build, and it never left. So we did paint, upholstery, obviously all the metal, yada, 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 everything done in-house. And uh, he really did a beautiful job of kind of mimicking that original Chevelle interior, uh, doing the one inch pleats, but doing it in, in really nice Moore and Giles leather. We use first gen Viper seats, which are, you know, Jared's a pretty big guy. He's six foot six ish, uh, gives him some more space, more comfort, and also fits within the car. Uh, JL Audio, which is hidden behind like one of the original uh, kind of stereos that we found. And, so yeah, we're just really proud of it and uh, just really happy to have everybody see it here this week. So the question is, what's left on this car that's stock? You know, there are a lot of uh, a lot of pieces on this car that are stock that aren't, you know, powder coated black. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you mean stock from the car or stock type? Stock from the car. Stock from the car. I mean, the, the body, this fender. Um, the body and that fender. <laughs> I love it. That's yeah, awesome. The deck lid, I think these front little uh, headlight surrounds, that's about it. That's so basically, if you go to OPGI.com and you got a credit card and an iPhone, you can build a car from their catalog. Well, you know, that's a really fun thing about these, about muscle cars compared to, you know, some of the 30s cars and 50s cars. 
Um, you really can bolt on a lot of what you can build and do it right, you know, and, and a lot of the parts are available and that makes it fun. All right, where can we find out more about your shop? So fullermoto.com, uh, Instagram, Facebook, they're all fullermoto. And we also have a show on NBC Sports called Caffeine and Octane, usually Tuesday nights. And uh, check us out. Check them out on NBC. Check them out on Instagram. You can also check out OPGI.com. Also, more Power Auto Media. Come up at the SEMA Show. Don't go away. <laughs>